we can say that the last trading day was the day of the doji but the chinese stock super interesting setup so hit the like subscribe and let's see the charts after hitting all-time highs all across the board it's the day of the doji not surprising doji all across the board spy closed the day with 0.2 to the downside intraday new all-time highs now we are heading back to the 525 retesting the old previous all-time highs closing this gap and then next leg up qqq also with a doji intraday new all-time highs 0.2 percent to the downside now we might go back retesting the 448 as support before the next leg up this is how it looks on the 65 minutes opened up the day and then slowly slowly grinding down now the 451.60 and the 65 minutes cues is holding next is the 450 the upper border of the yellow zone this will be the support and then we will look for the next leg up dow jones basically closed the day on the zero this is the four hours this is the daily look at this doji after new all-time highs intraday new all-time highs now back retesting the 398 previous all-time highs and then back to the 395 before the next leg up overall we are bullish super bullish on all time frames and if you see someone on twitter or on youtube that tells you this is just a bounce we are in a bearish market and this is the bounce before the crash ladies and gentlemen please stop following them because they are trapped with puts they are trapped with shorts there is nothing bearish this is not a trap this is a super bullish market iwm with wednesday's doji today thursday inside candle as we can see iwm is getting rejected and having her a rough time breaking the 210 209 area it was a very tough resistance through march and april and also now in may very tough resistance area can iwm break up and above it as a, and as long as iwm is above the 206 205 area we are in an uptrend you can also take trend lines put some trend lines that will help you understand that for now the trend is up do not fight the trend once again there is nothing bearish this is not a bounce this is a bullish market bitcoin for the time that i'm recording this video we are having an inside candle and as we said yesterday's market recap one candle does not change the overall sentiment and here we are back below the 65750 because we are still the overall sentiment lower highs lower lows mixed signals and the multi time frames same goes for the ethereum ethereum bearish on all time frames still below this blue trend line you know this blue trend line we drew it a few weeks back now we are still below it we are still below the yellow zone nothing bullish on ethereum this is why i always say on the one side we have some trapped traders all across the the media that are trapped with puts that are trapped with shorts the day and they are trying to scare us that this is just a bounce and the 50 percent between 25 to 50 percent decline is incoming all across the board on the other hand we have crypto furus that are still trying to preserve their dignity and they still say we are in a bullish market and ethereum goes to 1000 bitcoin goes to i don't know ethereum goes to 10000 bitcoin goes to 100000 for now we need to follow price just 
follow price do not follow anyone else learn how to read price action and believe me once you do you will stop following others there is a lot of noise all across the board all across the youtube the twitter the discord groups everywhere you go everywhere you open the media there is noise ignore the noise just ignore it learn how to read price section magnificent seven mags holding above the 40 40 which was previous all-time highs now 41 is holding above it we will meet this blue trend line to the upside soxx with 0.5 percent to the downside but holding above the 230 230 was a very tough resistance now needs to hold the support back to the 226 and back to the 223 overall in my opinion as long as we are above the 223 soxx is good to go long apple basically closed the day with zero movement doji above this blue trend line this blue trend line was the road for higher highs as a resistance now holding a support for the higher lows and as long as apple is stuck to this blue trend line this blue trend line will take apple to the upside above the 190 we will meet 195 and then all-time high new all-time highs on apple let me know in the comments below what do you think when we will see new all-time highs on apple during may or during june or maybe not even in 2024 let me know in the comments below hit the like subscribe don't go anywhere me we have a lot more to talk about super interesting setup on the chinese stocks stay with me microsoft holding above the 420 the 420 look left always look left trade right look left the 420 area support now once again support and as long as microsoft is above the 420 above the 415 even we are good to go long on microsoft amd 1.85 percent to the upside we can take the fti a little bit tighter so we will have more support and resistance swing high swing low in doji inside the no trading zone we are inside the yellow zone the no trading zone if you are not long yet an amd we are now inside the no trading zone with a doji indecision now we need to wait i'm waiting to take long an amd above the 170 if amd will close the week above the 170 fibonacci traders will start taking long position on this name now let's talk about some chinese name look at baba seven percent post earnings and this is why i say the earnings the numbers doesn't matter what we think about the company doesn't matter what we think about the earnings doesn't matter look at this baba seven percent to the upside the only thing that matters is what market thinks about the stock for now baba once again reaching this blue zone that is a very tough resistance since november of 2021 now if baba can break up above maybe close the week maybe next week breaking above this zone look here tried back in january 2023 tried got rejected also here tried got rejected here tried got rejected all across since november of 2021 baba getting rejected from this area this area was a resistance also here may 19 and support during 2022 very very interesting and super tough resistance for baba breaking up and above and then we might start seeing money pouring in into baba and then we can take fibonacci swing low swing high and the fibonacci will let us know with more than 85 percent accuracy where baba might be heading next above the 89 area we will see 94 101 and then 
bullish run in my opinion all the way to 121 jd with two percent to the upside post earnings also super interesting price action jd broke this downtrend line now where jd might be heading next just put fti in your chart put fti in your chart take it to the upside above 34.60 we will see 37.30 and then 40.74 47 for 4074 will be the next major resistance in my opinion above the 3430 and of course everything that you see in here on my channel is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor it's only my opinion opinion based on seven years plus of experience but still only my opinion please do your own due diligence do your own homework 10 cent music entertainment TME uptrend bullish on all time frames now as long as we are above the 1470 we are good to go long next above the 1570 we will see 70 and 1875 look left this area very tough resistance it was resistance over here resistance resistance now breaking up and above we will get some push towards the 1880 and then we have also a gap over here at the 2280 and then 2360 but time will tell for now bullish and the only thing we have full control of once we put on a trade no one knows what will happen next the only thing we have full control of is when to enter and where to put our stop loss and how much are we willing to lose on each and every trade so once you trade if you are a trader you must put your stop loss if you trade without putting a stop loss you're not a trader you're a gambler the stock market is not the place for you look at futu futu holdings with 4.3 percent of the upside broke above the 72 50 this area was a very tough resistance since beginning of may now close the day at the high of the day where futu might be heading next just ask the fti above the 77 we will see 84 and 92 we can also take trend lines and trend lines will show us the way the way where to the upside next resistance this red trend line together with the 84 area hit the like subscribe we are not done yet many more interesting name meta once again getting rejected by this trend line this blue trend line proves itself once again as a very tough resistance the 473 now is the support below it retesting the 458 bearish bullish mixed signal on meta we are inside the yellow zone and if you are not long yet on meta the answer is it time to go long on meta the answer is just over here amazon with 1.3 percent to the downside and yes amazon continues to no clear direction 182 holding a support google one percent to the upside google continues to stay strong new intraday all-time highs now the 170 area will become the support next resistance above the 175 we will see 182 and 190 to the to the upside tesla with all the market hitting new all-time highs tesla still broke to the downside it's a broke for now at least in my opinion it's a broke stock it's a broke name nothing long on tesla do not fall in love with stocks tesla is still below a very steep downtrend inside the yellow zone nvidia some kind of a how to call it break from this bull run perfectly fine almost new all-time highs now the 9 15 is the support less than at least 
Netflix with 0.5% to the downside, but as we can see, Netflix is basically stuck between the 606 and the 616, long above 616 towards 640. If bulls will give up on the 616, bears will come strong and will break the 601 to the downside back to the 590 and 580 to the downside. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful, educational. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe. Don't forget to check the links in the description below. Choose your path to financial freedom. Until the next video, stay safe.